but that can't be true. I flip them verbs like I flip them birds. Being in the bed, I flip them birds. Check the bright lens, one o'clock. Twelve minutes late, I was on the block. Slim a young child, say it ain't so. One bank, yeah, who see it ain't low. Fresh out the shower, gotta stay fresh. Take about an hour, gotta get dressed. Your boy's so clean, both of them on. Them blue jeans, fresh pair of shades, house on my wrist, talk to the drawers, your boy stay fit, I'm ready, ready. can nobody tell me nothing. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy, Honey P, with my boy, Brandon Black. Yeah. Check us out every Sunday from 5 to 6 on Hood Humor. Yo, B, tell them what they can expect. Tune in for comedy skits, prank calls, and our hilarious hood opinions on news and entertainment. You think it, and we say it. We'll see you at the party. If not, we're going to turn our back on you like a bad father. Drake, Drake, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That shit, the promo still cracked me up, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Drake heard that before and said, you know what, man, I'm going to whoop that nigga's ass when I see him. Man, man <laughs> look, if I get any type of famous with this comedy and acting shit, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into him and he's going to be like, hey, what what's that shit you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, man. I'm going to be like, well, no, nah, man, it was a joke. And he's going to be like, I should... I should whoop your ass. <laughs> Drake still do the hand shit? Yeah, I should whoop your ass. shit, man. <laughs> whoop you know, your ass. You know what's crazy, man? It's been a crazy week, man, with, with sports. You know, NBA preseason has started. NFL season is in its fourth week. Yeah. And uh, Bill Cosby is finna do three to ten, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's been a crazy week, man. And Trump is president. And this Trump is, is president. This has been a crazy motherfucking few years. I wonder what everybody outside of the U.S. is like thinking being outside and looking in like them motherfuckers over there is uh they some they, they something else god they, they looking at americans like you guys are stupid like <laughs> the, the people who voted in your president now you guys are idiots and they probably saying <laughs> for the handful of black people who voted you you deserve to be called that n-word <laughs> <laughs> Because you know it was some, I'm going to say, you know it was some niggas in line like Hillary uh, Trump. Trump, Trump, uh, yep. Trump. I read his book. You know how niggas be. I read the motherfucking book, man, a couple years ago. I like the way the motherfucker think, man. Yeah. Shit. You know, he talking. He, he going to bring money to all of us. Yeah. And then they always hit you with, shit, what what Obama do? Yeah. I ain't getting no check. I don't have a Cadillac. Nigga, I don't drive. Come on, man. Shit. And you know what's so crazy? You hear that a lot about what Obama did. You know, me personally, in my opinion, I feel that as far as the African-American people, he didn't do that much for. Yeah. But him being the first African-American president, whether he will. Well, I ain't going to even say African-American. Whether being the first black president, mm -hmm. black American president. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you were Democrat or Republican. You were the first black president. And he played his role right. Right. He didn't, you didn't see him cheating on Michelle. Right. You know, or all these allegations of this and that. And plus, you know, Michelle is a smart black woman. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, it's a beautiful black woman for him. Absolutely. She's intelligent, gorgeous, uh, shapely. You know, she, she, she bad than a motherfucker. You see, I how you know she bad. I stuttered. She, 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 she's yeah, bad stutter. than a motherfucker, man. <laughs> the, 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 the little Drew came out. Yeah, you know, man, and I, you know <laughs> she is. She wanted a chick, man. You walk up to the bar, got the keys to your van, like, yeah, hey, baby. Man. Hey, Smitty. Hey, look, Smitty, whatever she drank and give her two more than motherfuckers Smitty. on me, Smitty. That's funny, because we had a custodian at my junior high school named Smitty. You know what I'm saying? And we, his daughter went there, and we used to call her Shitty Smitty. You know what I'm saying? Shitty <laughs> Smitty is one of them names, man. He talking like, man, look, what you, oh, you doing your radio show today, man? Yeah. 
with the boy and what's the girl name? Yeah, <laughs> hey y'all. Look, <laughs> what she say? The one y'all say she about fourteen or something. Right? <laughs> hey, look, I'ma tell you this, young buck. Keep doing your shit, man. Y'all some bad motherfuckers, man. And tell them uh, Smitty told you. I'm finna go watch that that Red Pool movie. The what? The Red Pool? You mean the, Deadpool? You motherfucker? Hey, same <laughs> shit, baby. Look, I'm a, the motherfucker stepped in me. He get fucked up. I know that much. Oh shit. man. <laughs> hey, man, why don't you go get you one of them sodas out the back of that van? Man? Sodas. You know, that's how they used to say it, too. It was spell, old people spell soda, S-O-D-A-R, yeah, sodas. Yeah. <laughs> that's like my aunt, man. She say D on the end. Of, oh, you got your show? What is it, Sunday? Sunday. Remind me, his show Sunday. Sunday. Uh, I'm going to go to um, see your daddy Monday. <laughs> uh, have some tacos Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to be with my club on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Uh, hold on. Where my soda at? She said <laughs> that shit, too. What uh, kind of soda you... What where's, What kind of soda is an auntie? Gave me that orange over there. Yeah. That what? <laughs> let, fuck, <laughs> let me get one of them grape sodas, okay? <laughs> Grapes like, are orange. <laughs> get your ass out of my house. That's what you going to do. Shit. Uh, Smitty, get her ass out of my oh, house. Man. Smitty, come get this motherfucker <laughs> out of there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's like... My grandparents, instead of saying roach, they say rutch. Rutch, get that red. Look at that damn baby red too over there. I don't, I don't eat nothing at her house because the baby, she's sweet as pie, but she got rutches all over Rutches, uh, you know what's so crazy? <laughs> you saying that is like going to a restaurant that has like a C or D. Yeah. People say I'm not going there. Shit, that'd be the best <laughs> food. You know what I'm saying? That it's dirt, seasoned. That, yeah, the, yeah, it's seasoned. The roach wings seasoned the fuck out of that shit, man. You be like, God, damn, I ain't never had almonds in dressing. You know what that let me know? <laughs> what did you say, no almonds? <laughs> they made almonds. <laughs> they made almonds. What? That let me know. If you got an A in your establishment, if you got a big establishment, over 3,000 square feet, and you got an A, that lets me know you spend more time trying to keep it clean than make the damn food. Then you know what I'm saying? the fucking food up. That A stands for ass. Cause your restaurant is ass. It's ass. Send me over there to uh, Miss Charlotte's, the little hole in the wall off of Hooper, and we gonna eat. We gonna fuck we gonna, it up. We gonna mess it up. You know what I'm saying? And shit, that's like on Fig and Gage, the little family restaurant, man. Shit, uh, that got some uh, <laughs> pretty good food. <laughs> and they right on the corner. You know, Fig is like whole Central in LA. Right, that's like how I say, Long Beach Boulevard is whole Central. Uh, where else? You go to Atlantic City by the casino. That's whole central. Mm -hmm. Figueroa is our whole central. Matter of fact, rest in peace to the late great Sam Cook. Cause if I'm not mistaken, he was killed on Figueroa mm -hmm. at one of them motels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, it, and you know what, man? It's still like this whole mystery behind his death, though. I know it's a story, but then a lot of people don't believe that story. They like, nah. Allegedly, uh. I forget how the story go, man. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was there at a motel with a chick, and then fucking she shot him for some reason, and then he, like, ran out the hotel half naked or something like that. <laughs> it was a bunch of crazy shit, man. A bunch of crazy shit, Look, bro. Look, like, what? You only, you 10, yeah. you don't know about that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hey, baby, I'm <laughs> baby, dinner will be before your time, okay? When I say Sam Cooke, I'm not talking about a food dish. Not a food dish. You he know, was Sam a singer. Cook, right? And you know? he sung <laughs> like a motherfucker. He sung his ass hey, off. <laughs> Sam Cooke was a bad boy, though, man. Shit. What he said? <laughs> I was born. No, he was about back. <laughs> and the old yeah. women say, "Oh, Sam, boy, Sam Cook, woo!" Like the, like the grandma from Nutty Fest, Nutty Professor. He still get me moist right now. Moist. You know Had me leaking down now. <laughs> Had me want to take him to the back. <laughs> woo, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not on a Sunday. <laughs> Not on a Sunday. But oh, I man. <laughs> Sam Cook. He show could lick the sauce off my ribs. Oh, oh, oh. My oh. oh. Oh, I'm like, Grandma, not on a Sunday. Oh, I'm man. sorry. Lord, have mercy. Hey, you know what's so funny? You brought that up. You know, everybody that's here <laughs> got, got parents, mother, father, grandparents. Uh -huh. What would you do if you walk into a room by accident and saw your grandmother having some guy perform oral sex on her? Man, uh, I probably would faint right there. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't faint, uh, I probably would throw up. In my hands as I'm running out the house. <laughs> like, ah! 
Ah! Uh, I might go blind. Like, uh, is that true? <laughs> when you see some shit that's way wild, you could just like temporarily go blind and some shit. Yeah, I might be in this motherfucker like this. Like, yeah, the camera over here. You like over here, b. <laughs> Y'all gonna be doing me how they do Stevie Wonder. They sit that nigga Stevie Wonder any kind of way. Man, this nigga, <laughs> this nigga was at a war show facing the other way. The stage behind him. I said, and that's what. <laughs> I said, motherfuckers is scandalous. Doing Stevie they, any kind of way. They, they doing Stevie fucked up. The nigga hair uh, all, already get braided from his neck down. <laughs> they, they, no, your shit, Stevie, you got hang time. Your shit locked yeah, 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 motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Dude, my nigga Stevie got four B's. <laughs> Oh, he's saying four B's. <laughs> that nigga shit so short, he got four B's. Man. Yeah, I can't, I can't say nothing about Stevie, man. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> four B's. That nigga crazy. I'm crying like a motherfucker oh, right there. Nigga... Stevie shit don't even click clack to say. That nigga shit don't even like clack, clack. got four fucking B's. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, why y'all messing with Stevie? Stevie like that, people, man? y'all fucked up. <laughs> y'all fucked uh, up, dog. And that's they probably be bringing Stevie uh, some of these old. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has. You know, every every entertainer like that has had a messed up manager before. Yeah. And he probably had a manager saying, "Okay, Stevie, you know he he can't see, so I bring him a woman." And Stevie had her like that. Said, "Listen here, just because I can't oh, see, man. don't mean I can't smell." Get the fuck up! <laughs> uh, I need one of the green napkins. Uh, Ray, you know, say Ray had that rich uh, shit. Ooh, hell no, this uh, rich don't feel right. Uh uh-uh. uh, that nigga said I used to see at one point in time. Oh shit! What that? That nigga uh, Ray Charles got that Pepsi check. Like, hold up. Uh, These O's don't feel right. Motherfucker. Ray- <laughs> <laughs> hold uh, up. Y'all showed about three. Uh, hold on. Shit, man. You, I'm, I'm uh, blind, but I ain't dumb, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Georgia. Oh, man. <laughs> the whole day through. That Fuck nigga. Georgia. Got hey, rest in peace, hey, Ray man. Charles, man. Shit. Rest in peace, Ray. Somebody uh. talked to Stevie. Shit, I'm going to tell the truth. Y'all know Stevie got four We're talk, we talking about Stevie Wonder, not Stevie, Stevie B with Spring Love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stevie Wonder. Stevie you know what Wonder, saying? the great. Fuck that, man. Cut, I be, if, let's just say the Lord gave Stevie eyes one day, like, ah, there go your sight. Stevie be mad at a lot of motherfuckers, uh, man. You hooked me up with this <laughs> ugly mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you, <laughs> I'll tell you. Like, hey, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why is it? You told me. <laughs> You told me I always had a wave cap on. I'm bored. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, let me change the subject, man, because he's on the rose book. Stevie, what? It's a- you know what, man? On the other note, I've been, I, you know, I'm not going to say no names, but I've been getting a lot of emails on or, or direct messages on Twitter about us having the deacon on the show. <laughs> I've had a woman who texts me or, or DM me multiple times. Really? She said, this guy is a pervert. Uh, <laughs> I'm a strong believer in Christ. <laughs> and I said, ma'am, you know, I am also, you know. Well, you know, this guy is starting to rub me the wrong way. And you guys having him on your show is starting to make me believe he is somewhat of a Scientologist. <laughs> and I said, I said, how do you believe he's a Scientologist? You know, I tell, wrote her that. Well, you know, first he's talking about church. Then he's talking about disrobing himself. And when the women see him, they'll see the light. What light are they talking about? I said, look, <laughs> use your mind, ma'am. <laughs> use your mind. That light. Use your that mind, light. man. Oh, man. Hey, the deacon man is a fan favorite. He's crazier than a motherfucker, man. I, uh, you know who... We should have on, man. I'm going to hit her up, man. I got a friend, uh, Mahoney, man. She funny as fuck. And uh, we ain't had a woman on the show yet. No. And I think she'd be a great candidate. She actually yeah. can I come on the show? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to talk to my boy. We're going to make it happen. Because, you know, Brick, <laughs> don't be wanting to talk to us, man. You know, it's all good. You know, her being eight, you know, she Brick, can't Brick called us old last week. <laughs> Right, <laughs> some old heads. Old said, Whoa, mother, hold on, old motherfuckers. <laughs> I was on a van. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that old oh, van. You know, so crazy. When I was young, I used to say, "Man, who the fuck want a van?" <laughs> now I'm in my thirties. I'm like, 
motherfucking van look good as a motherfucker right there. Ah, hey, me and my girl, man, we was at Cerritos Auto Square Cerritos last week. Cerritos Auto Square. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she was getting her car service and shit. I was like, well, let's go walk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We got about an hour and shit. Man, I'm looking at Silverados and shit. She like, you old as fuck. You looking at pickup trucks? I'm like, this is a clean ass pickup truck. It's lifted. You old as hell. I was like, shit. Well, maybe a nigga is getting kind of old. You know what I'm saying? I used to want a Camaro and shit. Now I'm looking, I'm like, you know the type of shit we could tow back here? Make extra money? <laughs> Your neighbor, hey, man, hey, 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 Brandon, can you help me with this refrigerator? Sure, you're not 25. You know, matter of fact, you know, fucking, I ain't 25. Give me a six-pack of beer. You know what I'm saying? You're <laughs> damn right. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, give me a six-pack of beer. You know give what I'm saying? Give me a six-pack. Not that cheap shit. Don't bring me no six-pack and no motherfucking, you know, slits bug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. I don't want no motherfucking paps, okay? Bring me, if you're going to go cheap, bring me some MGD, guys. MG, you know? bring me something. <laughs> give me some goddamn MGD. I want to be one of them niggas. Yeah. Brit, let me see your car. Hold on, Brit. No, you. <laughs> Shit, all you need is an alternator or a transmission. Look at the motherfucker. Okay. Bring the motherfucker over here. Man. Bring it over here. Man, Shit. you said you got them all name. Let me fucking drill fucking Cadillac converter, man. You ain't got me a 12-pack, man. See? Ain't nobody <laughs> got them Cadillac. Hold on. Where you at? Woo, shit. Look at the mumps on that. <laughs> Why do my old man be having shit like that? Look at the mumps on that bull. And, and why do why do every old man think they can handle like a sixty year old man think they can handle a a a, a thick twenty five twenty six year old girl? You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> oh, I can handle. Hell yeah, man, give me give me me. Yeah, I can handle that shit. Yeah, yeah. all right, man. Hey Take man, send your ass straight to the Inglewood Cemetery. What <laughs> 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 Richard Price say? Uh, talking about his dad died. On top of a young woman, and she was apologizing, and he was like, "Man, damn, stop! What, what you yeah. apologizing for?" He he came and went at the he same time. He came and went. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, he said that's the best way to go. He he <laughs> said, "Die <laughs> some pussy or get shot." Or get he shot. said, "If we had the choice, I know what line I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in that long ass that line." Long <laughs> You know, as matter, shit, matter of fact, saying he came and went, B, why don't you give people the number to call in if they want to, man? Hey, look, check this out, man. If y'all want to call <laughs> in and y'all want to shoot the shit with us, uh, 213-270-1969. Bing! And y'all like Ooh. the last two numbers of that phone number, 69. Six, Especially the Deacon. I know the Deacon's listening right now. Deacon's like, you know, I'm right now at Golden Corral <laughs> preaching to a bunch of women. <laughs> <laughs> he out there, man. And you know, give us a call, man. You know, let's let's talk shit, swallow spit. We, you can uh, piggyback on the on the Stevie Wonder talk. Nah, I'm gonna leave Stevie alone. Nah, leave that Stevie shit. alone. Leave brother Steve hey, alone, man. That, that shit was funny as fuck, though. Y'all can't lie. Like, Britt over there googling the picture of Stevie right now. See, like, I don't know. I don't know who Stevie Wonder. <laughs> is, is that Stevie J from Love and Hip Hop? Or? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he on Black Ink Crew, huh? He on Black, no, that, oh, that's okay. him, man. Spe uh, speaking of that, Stevie J, you know, shout out to Stevie J and Faith Evans for their marriage. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Faith Evans is a legend in the game. You know what I mean? Hip -hop Loving hip hop, Stevie J. Stevie J. They, they married. You didn't know that? Fuck no. When did that happen? You didn't know that? No. They've been married for about a month and a half now. No shit. They've been married for a month and a half, and as of lately, reading the blogs, and thanks to my boy OG on Twitter at What's Gooding, he hit me up like, you know, Jocelyn is now dating uh, Tory Lanez. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, you know what? I just saw that shit. I heard they denying it, though, or they said it ain't true. Well. They got multiple pictures. He did have a picture, though, man, where he was gripping those cassapa melons. I said, oh, my, oh, my God. They, they, showed, they showed a picture of Jocelyn. My fiance said, look at this. And you see Jocelyn jogging. <laughs> <laughs> she was jogging down the street. And it looked like a fucking linebacker man walk, jogging down the street. You know what I'm saying? You see this square body jogging down the street. I'm like, all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Now, I see why Stevie went to Faith. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I actually met Faith Evans. Oh, you did? person at a barbecue, man. Um, was she down to earth? She was. Oh, and, okay. and lovely, man. Still still gorgeous. Cool as fuck. Um, thanks to the homie. Shout out to the homie Bad Luck. I actually went to a, a Knife Wonder cookout with him. A Knife? What's that? What's a Knife Wonder cookout? Producer Knife Wonder. Oh, oh. Had a cookout for the Grammys and shit, okay. man. And Knife Wonder was there. Rhapsody was there. Uh... Kadeem Hardison was there. Yeah, yeah, Gripper motherfuckers, man. Uh, Guru was there. I was like, oh, oh okay, shit, Guru. This shit I know, okay. Crazy 
Yeah, but Faith Evans was there, and I got there, and I was like, oh, shit. And I had to, like, talk to myself in my head, like, no, hey, pick your tongue up. Quit doing it. <laughs> Pick I'm like, your oh, shit, that's, that's, that's crazy. Fake. I was about to do a bad boy dance. Do the, the diddy bop, huh? Do the diddy bop. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, man. <clears throat> Kept my composure though, man. That was a, that was a good motherfucking time, bro. Oh. Really, already? God damn, damn, man. I'm sitting there burping, man. I was eating gumbo before I came here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to get some gumbo in my system. <laughs> oh, wait. You hear that shit? He eating gumbo. I ate air, and you had a salad. What, what's up? You know, I'm getting so sick and tired of these skinny motherfuckers. <laughs> Every time you, you know, uh, I, I'm standing in in Popeyes. You talking say, about? You talking about her? Right I'm there, like, let, let me get, you know, give me that eight piece. And they say, who are you feeding your kids? No, mother, that's for me. What you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then you got somebody standing behind me talking about, I'll just have, you know, um, you know, give me a small fries. Oh. You know what I'm Something. Or if you go to McDonald's, let me get that salad. Oh, do you do you want just a salad? You know what? I'm a cheat today on my diet. Right. Give me an extra piece of grilled chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you know um, what the hell? Do you have uh, any chicken? But hold the chicken, extra slaw, extra slaw, and uh, let me have a large water. You a large like, water, bitch! If you don't get out the barbecue place with that bullshit, <laughs> come to a barbecue place. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, I hate no, that shit. I'm vegan. Um. I would like some banana pudding, but it, is it gluten free? Is it gluten free? Or they go to go to a soul food restaurant and say, you know, I'm not going to eat no meat. Just let me get uh, green beans, some collard greens, uh, a <laughs> side of mustard greens. <laughs> and you could put a little of that beef gravy on it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just get a plate. <laughs> a little bit of that beef gravy. You know, sit your ass down. Oh, no, I'm vegan and uh, I'm a glutinous. Uh, everybody does not have a fucking gluten allergy. Everybody does not have a gluten allergy. You know what's so crazy? I'm a grown man. I've been to college, and I can't sit here and tell you what the fuck gluten is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gluten is like a a byproduct of of uh, a wheat and yeast. It's like the yeast in it, right? She, Brittany, she like, said, oh, I don't know. You yeah, know what it is. Saying, absolutely. I see some gluten free shit. You know, you know, Let me get the gluten free soup. Brittany's still eating what they say, the pickles with that, that Kool Aid pack in it. <laughs> you know, you get that, get them pack of hot Cheetos, put a little pickle juice in that. You know what I'm saying? That was the, or you, you put that now later in the pickle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you put that in there. <laughs> Let me get some hot Cheetos with cream cheese, please. Cre- cream cheese. Oh. I know people that fuck, <laughs> fuck that shit up, man. Hot Cheetos with cream cheese. Ugh. On me, I uh, I think I tried it once though. I had a homegirl back in the day that had me try that shit. It wasn't bad. It was not bad. I'm well, not gonna lie. To well, you. you know what? I know my fiance was pregnant. Um, uh, what's it called Doritos with the Philadelphia cream cheese? Yeah. That's something she ate a lot. Ah, same shit. Yeah, same but you know, shit. just with it, a little that, spice. That's crazy. You hear about Gotta like like, like uh mm-hmm. pregnant women cravings? You know what I'm saying? Like my sisters, I got a lot of friends that were pregnant. And you see the stuff they post on Facebook. I got a taste for a burger with a Hershey on it. You know, shit like that. You know, <laughs> and I'm like, damn, huh. do pregnant women really crave weird shit right. like that, man? Or is that shit in your head? Like, damn, who would who would think about putting a Hershey with almonds on like a, a fat burger, double cheeseburger with bacon on it? And you know, I said, I'm hungry as fuck right now. I, I said, let's. Like, damn, a- that shit sounds good as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That shit sound bull. Hey, you know. You better trademark that. Hey, I wish they had a Whataburger out here. A lot of people don't. You know what a Whataburger is? I heard of it, but never been. A Whataburger. They, you know, you got them in different it's in states. Texas, right? It's in Texas, not California. That Whataburger. And I ask, shout out to Whataburger. They hit me up on Twitter. Um, they said they're going to come to L.A. soon. Because I asked. I said, when y'all come to L.A.? And they hit me up. Said, you know what? We'll be there pretty soon. Oh, I said, wow. when y'all get here, I need that Texas patty milk. <laughs> you know what? That Texas toast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, man, my stomach started to growl like a motherfucker. My stomach getting pissed as fuck. Hey. Like, this nigga just sitting here hey, talking about I'm that I'm telling shit. you, when you got a real burger, when they got them grilled red onions, not the white onions, the red onions with the Texas toast that's about that thick, that wide, that patty's about that big. They give you bacon that's damn near thick as your phone. No shit. Oh, man. You talking about 
you know it's good when you don't know, okay, if I finish this, I might die because I clogged artery. Mm. That's how good it is, you know what oh, I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I want that, you know what I'm saying? You see, as you doing all that, I'm looking, I'm thinking hey, like, oh, hey, that hey, shit that do mo- look that good. that sit that high, man. You be like, that damn. High? You don't even need the fries. You know what I'm saying? You get that <laughs> to that goddamn. homeless motherfucker over there. You know what I'm saying? You don't even need Take the fries. Take these goddamn fries, Take you that homeless motherfucker. Take the drink, too, shit. No! <laughs> 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 they gonna hit you in the back of the head with the fries, man. Oh man. So what, man? You want to get into the prank now? Or what, man? Yeah, let's go ahead, man. Cause we were fucking around and talked the whole yeah, show, but I'm having hey. a good goddamn time. I tell you what, ain't that what test people say too? Oh, oh shit. Well, we, we, we gonna call? take a call before the prank, man. You on the line with hood humor? I am uh, Wesley Black <laughs> with my boy. And I am the Black Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> This is the Deacon. <laughs> oh, I know the Deacon. Was like, What's up, Deacon? The Deacon is called. Yes, yes, yes. I just got out of church, and <laughs> it was a great service, my my children. <laughs> Praise God. And the thing was, somebody, some diabolical demon had <laughs> stole a large portion of funds from our church. Oh, Uh-oh. wow. A DD, a yeah. diabolical demon. Yes. But with the blessings I received, I was able to take the remaining amount of the church's money and take it to the casino. <laughs> 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 well, look, <laughs> with God on your side, I'm going to say you'd be able to hit a seven on the first row. Uh, seven, hey. eleven. <laughs> Well, well, hey, but I, I actually, hey, I actually hey. took that money and I, I betted it because I knew with the faith I would hit. And I took it and bet it on <laughs> double zero on the roulette table. Oh. So that 15000 turned into 525000 for the church. Oh, praise so God. Look at that. So therefore, they're going to get, we're going to get a new central air conditioning. Hey. And a lot of, and, and the Reverend... And Reverend Banks will be able to help a plethora of our people inside the church. For me. Now, <laughs> hey, 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 Deacon, so will, out of that 500 or some thousand, will the Reverend Banks be able to, um, you know, enjoy a amateur night at Stars or something like that? Well, unfortunately, amateur banks will have to allocate some of those funds towards some of the child support <laughs> for <laughs> some of the professional <laughs> people in our God. church. Because he, he hasn't been the greatest reverend, but I mean, I still respect him, and everybody done fell short. So, who am I to judge the man? Everybody's fell short. Hey, Deacon, you know what I was saying earlier, man? I've been getting a lot of emails and, and DMs about you on our social media about these people saying that you're a fake deacon and you shouldn't be putting your penis on plates for for your what dates. What the hell? <laughs> What what do you have to say to these women? And because you know, some I think one of these ladies was the lady who talked about Michelle Obama saying she was an ape in heels. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I remember. And, well, you know and, what? People like that. You know, uh, whom am I to judge them? All I know is that, you know, I just came off a vacation, and I left Africa. I left Congo, and there was some women there that do exactly like I do, and they do exactly. Like, they dance in their birthday suits like, as I do. <laughs> and as I, as I dance with those women, we had fun. <laughs> and there was no embarrassment. We were, we were natural. We are nature. Some people were in this country would call it appalling, but it was so natural for us to dance like that. And, well, quite frankly, I want to go back because the way we danced was the way we slept with one another. And never once was I was I tempted by the flesh. Oh, you what? And I think, excuse me? You were able to uh, uh, have self-control? You? Oh, always, always, sir. I, I, I could never, you know. Wow. Uh, I mean, when we were dancing, it was like, well, a girl named... Christina was with me. <laughs> she told me that that she was looking at those brothers and she said, Deacon, 
Deacon DJ, if you were if you were looking the way I was looking at these men, you would have penis envy because you fell far short of how these brothers was walking around. And I said, how dare you? What are you, some type of Jezebel? What are you doing? Look at their song? And she said, no, 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 Reverend. Jezebel. That's not what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. is, is she, said, part, she told me that the women had uh, really just fantastic derriere. She said, the women here would be envy of those women. Yeah. Is this Naturally part of Africa formed. called Crazy Girls LA or Ace of Diamonds? <laughs> hey, perhaps? hey, 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 Deacon. You know, I got to ask you this. You, me knowing that you are a man of faith and yes, you can lay there naked with women, not, not tempted out. by the flesh. Exactly. What if these women wanted you for anal sex? Would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is sick, sir. That is sick. Quite frankly, any any indulgence in any sexual activity without being married is quite frankly appalling. And I think the person sh should be arrested, to be truthful, because we're not supposed to do that. What What if it's to procreate? That's a different scenario there. You, you know... know <laughs> that's what your slong was made for, and it was given to you, blessed to you, to procreate and to urinate. That's it. Hey, hey, Deacon, let me Not tell you, hey, hey, let me tell you this, Deacon, and this is a true story. This was on the news the other day that they said in the last about three or four years, the um, the birth rate of black women giving children, you know, to, to kids is down. And they were saying because of the homosexuality of black men, black men who are dating other black men. You agree with that? I can agree with that. I can. I, I don't uh, put it specifically on the black man, though, because, you know, the women have wandered off also, and a lot of the sisters, quite frankly, are playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? They're playing basketball. <laughs> 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 but you know what? I found that pretty interesting, man. Like, you know, back in the day, me grow, you know, us growing up in South Central, you didn't really see that like homosexual stuff around. Not saying that, you know, we don't we don't talk down about people who live that lifestyle. It was in the closet. You know, but now it's like some of the dudes you used to see who you would thought that would probably had a gang of females, now they got a gang of men. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what the f Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's universally accepted in society. So, therefore, everybody that's, like, on the on the fence on one side or the other just say, well, I'll just fall on this side of the fence because it's acceptable and it's promoted. It's promoted and then it's acceptable. So, well, you so know a lot what? of people get caught up. You know what? If uh, more people become lesbians and homosexuals, which if that's what they choose to do, they can do that. It's more for me. me. I mean, it's more for you brothers to <laughs> have fun with. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You just said more for you. What are you talking about? And that's what I was going to get more, into. More, more, I was gonna more say, people in the church. More no, people I was, in the church. For I was going to say it out. probably would be your godly duty to get out here and populate the earth. Are you up for that challenge? Um, oh, absolutely not. No, no. <laughs> now, if I got married to a single woman, yeah, I would procreate and, and do as much as I can to help society. But as far as <laughs> going out and taking my <laughs> slog and inserting it, inserting it into women for personal pleasure is absolutely <laughs> absurd, and I would never, personal never have of it. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> but, but as I said before, it would be great for you guys who do for uh, participate in that type of activity. But no, 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 I, I wouldn't recommend that for no man of God. Well, hey, next week I'm gonna try to talk my homegirl into coming down on the show, and I'm gonna educate her on your gospel. And I hope you tune in so we can see what she has to say because we never had a, a female perspective on this show sitting in these seats. Yeah. And, and, and you know, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, a lot yeah, of women believe in your gospel. You know, uh, Britt is sitting here shaking her head at some of the, uh, what would you call it? The slight sermon you've been preaching on the airs today. She's like, no, this is, uh, uh, and as he was telling you, 
One lady thought she was a Scientologist, man. She she said that guy that guy is rubbing me the wrong way, and he's leading me to believe that he may be into Scientology. And I said, what makes you think that? <laughs> well, just his his vernacular of certain <laughs> things of the church. Um, first of all, he said on the show, and I said, let me stop you right there, ma'am. I appreciate you listening to the show. <laughs> And this is it. Shout out to her for listening. Shout out to you for listening. I know she's probably gonna be on Twitter tonight talking shit to me. Say, I can't believe you had that Nick. I mean that guy uh, on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating how how people can uh, criticize me on my uh, outlooks on what you do with your body, <laughs> but yet they go off fornicate and be with a plethora of partners when I consistently say i don't believe in sex unless you're married mm. so it's hard to to understand that so uh you like don't test drive the car just buy the shit off the lot and how you get it is how you get it you, <laughs> let me tell you i could be in the bed naked with, let's say um um, um miss serena williams and I wouldn't Serena even think Williams. about. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about it. You know. Yeah. What'd you say? What'd you say, Deacon? Deacon tough. said if Sir, if he had Serena Williams, he would remind her that when you go to a gas station, you put the gas. Where is the gas tank? In the front or the back of the car? <laughs> <laughs> That's sick, man. <laughs> hey, man. Appreciate you calling, man. Uh. Stop rubbing Absolutely oil all child. over your body and praying with them girls naked, man. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? As long as I teach them, and I've taught, as a matter of fact, remember this. Out of the hundreds of women I've slept with in the nude, 99% of them, we've never had any physical activity. And 99% of them, after they got through with my course, went on to get married. Uh, so, what does that tell you? Oh, Oh, okay. So... Going through you is kind of like not a rite of passage, but damn near like premarital counseling is what you're telling me. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you prep. They, they, look, they don't go through their lustful ways, giving themselves out to guys and stuff like that no more. And they go through It's like going to rehab with me, and they finally <laughs> find rehab. themselves, <laughs> and, and they get married, and they, they don't do that anymore. Oh, wait, wait. So what you do is <laughs> you take – uh a promiscuous woman in in your eyes and you rehabilitate exactly. her as you said into only yeah. wanting one man and becoming yeah. a wife and okay all right exactly exactly they might have like i say really big exteriors you know where <laughs> there he is and, <laughs> and, 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 and a lot of guys might be attracted to him but i teach them how not to be tempted by the flesh as i'm not and after they go through the um how do you say when you are addicted and you and you're weaning yourself off of it? No, how do you you the, the torture or the desire and and all of that? They go through that and, and they they get out of it. They wean themselves off of it. And by the time they're finished, wean a guy wean, cannot yeah. they cannot get those women unless they're married to them. And then once they get them, they love them because they be like animals because they haven't <laughs> been sexually. <laughs> Involved for such a long time. <laughs> It'd be like animals. <laughs> let me, let yeah. me ask you a question yeah. before you get out of here. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Given the type of climate that we're living in as of lately, um, with women standing up and not settling and taking the bullshit that men give them, are you worried at all that your methods could lead to you being accused of certain things or? prosecuted or charged with certain allegations? I mean... Um, I'm not Donald Trump, okay? <laughs> I don't go around grabbing on women's uh, things, uh, uh, but JJ's... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not me, sir. No, I, I couldn't be uh, uh, accused me, of anything. And, and, and like I said, out of the hundreds of women, they all would back me up and say I'm the greatest deacon ever, and I've never, ever... Attempted a Kavanaugh. Oh wow! Kavanaugh. Okay, well, hey, you heard it here <laughs> once again on Hood Human Radio that the Deacon is a straight stand-up gentleman. He's not a Kavanaugh. And uh, I'm gonna look into the camera and say if you may be suffering 
with spreading your oats all around the city and you want to be transformed into being a one man woman and possibly getting married. The deacon guarantees his services of changing you, sending you back into the Absolutely. world and finding your husband. And y'all can email him at turn her straight in the nude at godaddy.com. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> birthday suit, birthday suit sleeping. <laughs> birthday suit sleeping dot com, and look for the deacon. Absolutely, Brett. Absolutely, my sons. Uh, all right, my all sons, right, I must, I must, I must start praying again because I have a young lady coming over here in about twenty minutes. And I have to prepare. <laughs> for her. So, I, 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 I got to remind her that she'll have to take Let's that thong it. off. She had to take that thong off and just sleep. We'll just sleep and pray. <laughs> off Sangria. <laughs> so like that, sick. What the hell? Look at Brittany. She, Anyhow, said, she said, I will never look at an old man the same after hearing this. <laughs> sick widow. <laughs> You're a sick freak. Any, anyhow, my children, I must get prepared for... The young lady that's coming over, and, you know, I have to see how she reacts. All right, man. We appreciate you calling, and God bless you as always, man. Uh, thank you, my children, and God bless all you kids. And you know, keep your slong straight, and don't throw your dick on the table no more, Brandon. <laughs> You're going to crap out one of these days, sir. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, you know, listening. Uh, of course not. I'm a, you know, I'm a stand-up not. gentleman like yourself, man. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, wait, forgive me. I was wrong. Man. I stand corrected. Yes, sir. I stand corrected. I I've is, been uh, wrong before. All I need is my iced coffee to get my fix, man. And uh, I'm good, sir. Um, oh, okay. Listening okay, to you well, really I mean, changed my life the past few episodes man so i appreciate it uh, i'm glad to know that Thank i'm you, glad man. to know that i actually have on a shirt he is like i told people before i've guided people uh, I've, I've guided a variety of women to through the tunnel and sent them straight and said baby at the end of the tunnel you see that light baby he said yes yes can i see the light but the one thing i didn't tell her I didn't tell her it was a train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, man. We got at you, man. All right, Dick. <laughs> oh, all right, my children. Bye. Have a blessed day. You too, man. Have a blessed Sunday. <laughs> man, I... <laughs> Man, let we can get into this prank call, man. This, fucking, this fucking round fucking around with the deacon, yeah, man. Yeah, uh, we, with him, I know that man. I know that lady on Twitter is gearing up right now. <laughs> I got some words for that <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I will say that the views expressed by the deacon does not reflect the personal views of me and Honey P. Uh, that is his gospel. I am not a member of his congregation, and I respect uh, all women. Uh, yeah. So let's get into this prank call, man. Uh, <laughs> Fucking <laughs> deacon. <laughs> uh, Bree, you, hey, Bri, you can go ahead and drop that. I don't even, I don't even know how to bring it in. Cause I'm still, do you hear the way he talks to? Yes. Uh, I told her, BB. <laughs> you know what? We're we gonna play this prank for y'all. A lot of people like this one. Yo, you know what I'm saying? So. Hey, what up, Bobby? <laughs> this man. Uh, I got your number. This fucking deacon, man. crazy. <laughs> He was trying to, he was trying to do an interview oh, on the radio shit. show, man. Right. So my homeboy, oh, yeah, yeah, your homeboy Pete. Oh, yeah, Pete, Pete, oh, Pete. Shit. Uh, hey, hey, Brittany, nah, nah, Brittany, like that yeah, nigga's an asshole. Yeah, well, hey, what's up, hey, interview? Is it an overlay on my own right radio now? show, man? And uh, you know what Brittany, I'm saying? I, I, I interview a lot of hip hop artists. Right oh, okay. Oh, okay. You, you a hip hop right. artist? You know, E from sixty si si second. Oh, overlay. Oh, oh. So, like, e. it's a they can't from sixty second. Oh, oh, F, F, F for him in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was telling me your 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 artist and shit. You was oh, okay. Here, you know, to get some promo or whatever. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was seeing <laughs> that. You're okay. Okay. You okay. was telling yeah. me something about that you guys had a radio yeah. station and stuff. I mean, yeah. and, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. 
Chop it up. What, what's he, good? I, I know him from the States, and he got his own show with another cat. But I, I do mine on Saturdays, man. It, do he got a radio station? I mean, a hip-hop station? Yep. Yeah, well, his is more so like entertainment and shit like that. He don't he don't really focus on on music. His uh, Sunday, yeah, my shit come on 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 Saturday. You know, it's called Underground uh, Hit. Okay, now, so I've been seeing it. He's been posting me like tagging me with other people and shit. But there's some white man on out of me. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to. I don't need no more fucking cases right now, man. I can't afford not one more, man. I feel you on that one, brother. We don't even want you to get, you know what I'm saying? We don't want you to get no shit like that, man. Hell no. Nah. Okay. Yeah, so, man, um, what you can do, bro, you know what I mean? Saturday, the show go down Saturdays at 8. If you got a catalog, you you know, you got music and shit? Yeah, I got a shitload of music, man. But unfortunately, right now, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm keeping my shit up, bro, because uh, these industry niggas been using my shit, and you know, making the money off of turning my words around on the song so I can't sue they bitch asses, et cetera, oh. et cetera, you feel me? So, well, well you know I, I what? Kinda... Okay, I go mean, ahead. I didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I'm hearing your story. I'm like, that, that's perfect, dog. You can really, you can come on and you can talk about that, you feel me? And you can tell people, you know, the problems and the, and the bullshit that come with the game. Okay, I could do that, but, you know, I ain't going to drop no names out no, there. No, no, you know no, what I no, mean? No, no, yeah. No. Yeah, I know how the I know how the industry politics is, man. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Hold on one second, man. Let me write you down, bro. I All right. Getting shit and who coming, man. I want to make sure. Uh, Where you guys located? We have you, man. We're not far from LAX, man. We in a, uh, one of the suites on the sixth floor, bro. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, man. I'm I'm happy he uh, gave me your number, bro. Uh, you know. It's, it's gonna be dope, man. We be trying to we've been trying to include more people, more races, genders, and the fact that, you know, you would be the first gay rapper on the show is dope as fuck. You said the first gay rapper. Yeah, it, ain't no motherfucking gay nigga. He <laughs> ain't gay partner. <laughs> you you sure? Hold on, man. That nigga said, "Am I sure?" You gotta be fucked up. I'm starting well, off all bad. Well, 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 watch, watch your tone, man. That's what I was told. You feel me? And that's what Say I, what? I, I, I said. Watch your tone. That's that's what what I was told. Who told you that? So you're not gay, is what you tell me. Yes. This, this is the information that was given to me. This is why we okay. want to the show, so you can, oh. you know. You can okay, so let me know who who the fuck told you that. How so you, I can straighten that shit all the way out. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you got the wrong nigga, man. Yeah, I'm confused. You know, I'm confused as hell because, you know, I was getting excited. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to – we've been having a lot of problems in this area on our show, and this is what – you know, I've been getting a lot of emails and shit from people. they like, yo, why don't you bring somebody some diversity and shit to your show? And then I got your number, so, you know, I'm thrilled to bring you on the shit, and now you telling me, you know, the information is, is false, is va not valid. Yeah, you got me fucked up, partner. So why you telling me to check my tone and shit, nigga? I don't get down like that at all. Oh, okay. Well, you ain't got to attack me, you feel me? Yeah, so so let me holler at this nigga Anthem because you say you got the the, the, the the line from that nigga. Maybe that nigga wants some dick in his ass or something. Nigga, I don't, I don't swing that way, bro, bro. And, I don't, oh, and, okay. and if niggas is, 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 is perpetrating my name like that, say no more, right, my man. nigga. I know what I got to do, bro. Yeah, all right, man. All right. We don't want to hey, another case, man. You just got pranked by the Hood Humor Radio Show. <laughs> Say what? You just got pranked by Hood Humor Radio Show. What's up, B? This E. <laughs> man, man. <laughs> hey, bro. You, you, man, you know, nigga. <laughs> my nigga, bro. <laughs> you say I got pranked, nigga? <laughs> this is a prank call, man. Oh. I'm really uh, on Sunday. It's called Hill and Humor, man. It's, it's Brandon Black. Yo, bro. <laughs> yo, man. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, you ready to fuck some shit up, huh? We, we, <laughs> I'm, about to, man, I'm about to go 60 seconds to look for you, bro. Fuck <laughs> <Like> you talking. <laughs> hey, man. No, hey, it's so much to be going on. Man, you. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, y'all got me. Y'all got me today. 
<laughs> look, 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 I started sweating and everything. It's like, is this kind of smut I got on my name? <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, you said, hold up, partner, who told you that? Hold yeah, up. I'm, look, I'm sweating and everything. I'm going to pull over on the freeway to smoke a cigarette, man. I already <laughs> smoked them, man. What? <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, man, we had to hit y'all back with that other one. That, that's, shout out to my boy, Yo B. Yo Byron, man. He was a good sport in that one, man. He was on his way to shoot you. He was going to shoot the shit out of you. That's what you. Oh, 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 oh. Nigga, say no more. Nigga, I know what I got to do then. You got Hold everybody up. thinking I'm a gay rapper. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he wants some dick in his ass. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 nigga want to put smut on my name? I know what I got to do then. Oh, oh hey, man. Hey, hey, I ain't talking no more, my nigga. That's all he needs. Nigga, I don't do no talking. That nigga. shit. Oh, man. That, 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 that prank made my day, man. It's <laughs> exhausting being hard than a motherfucker, ain't it? That sounds like that's a full-time job. Motherfucker, hardcore. Every, every, they, you know what? Some people... <laughs> Put so much time and effort into being hardcore. Like, they want everybody to know they're a gangster. You can't pull shit on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm hardcore. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Nigga, I don't give a fuck, man. Oh, me. You ever seen the movie Thicker Than Water? Thicker Than Water. Was that Mac 10 and Fat Joe? Yeah. That nigga, she found a gun. She was like, what's this for? He was like, what you mean? I'm banging. This is a full-time job. I don't do this shit halfway. Shit, I'm full-time with it. That, That... That was the best example of being hard full time. This is a full time job. This ain't no part time shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm full time with it. I'm telling you, man. That shit is crazy. Motherfucking full time. Like, <laughs> you got some people who really think like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they don't. They don't. You know, they don't have no hope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's it. That's your. That's the worst thing you can run into a motherfucker with no hope. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be like that the whole show next week. Like, nigga, I'm, shit, I'm here. Hey, the camera on? We're running. Nigga, I'm full time with Man, it. I'm, I'm Brandis. I'm going to show you I'm hard. You got to play with yeah. a few lines on it. I'm going to show you I'm hard. Like, <laughs> you from? Nigga, I ain't from nowhere, nigga, but I beat your ass. What's happening? What's happening? That's what, the, like, <laughs> like, wait, where you from, homie? Nigga, well, nigga I'm a crip. You know what I'm saying? Where you from? I'm just a crip. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you ever run into them hard niggas? When you've been, like, generally nice, you'd be like, hey, what's up? And nigga be like, Nigga, what's up? You be like, no. No, I'm just saying, how you doing, how man? You doing? Like, nah, how you, like, no, how how are you? Nigga, how you doing? Yeah, man, only in L.A. A nigga be yeah. right in your face. Yeah, man, how you doing, my brother? He start hitting you up. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I said, I saw one motherfucker do some shit. I said, dog, why you doing yoga in front of my face? You know what I'm saying? That nigga start going, wow, wow. <laughs> Like, hey, bro, <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, look, bro, just calm down, man. You can do whatever the fuck it is that you do. It is a free country, man. I'm gonna keep walking this way, and uh, yeah. Well, nigga, walk, nigga. Shit. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, I watching that comedy. What old boy said, man. I saw my homie. He went to the gas station, and I saw his partner in the car, and I told him, hey, man, you know my name is such and such, and he gonna tell me I ain't into meeting no new niggas today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, like he just been meeting new people all week. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't into meeting no new niggas today. Yeah, that's some. That's hard nigga shit too. Like, hey nigga, I don't need no new friends. Nigga, I don't even like my old ones, my oh, nigga. Man. Shit, nigga. Me, myself, and I. That's the three niggas I need. <laughs> Only, nigga. <laughs> oh, All right, man. bro. Well, you do you. Nigga, I'ma do me. You do you. <laughs> you know what, man? Before we go, shout out. Like I said, we spoke last week, man. You know, they still got a little rant and rave going on. Cat Williams, Mike Epps, everybody yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a shout out to Cat Williams. Shout out to all of them. Mike Epps, Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish, all of them. You know what I'm saying? They Hell all doing yeah. their thing. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. Um, shout one, out to everybody you know, listening, shout too. Shout out to everybody listening. You know what I'm saying? Y'all oh. do y'all thing. It's Sunday. Y'all get ready for that rain next week in L.A. You know what I'm saying? We got a hurricane passing through the south of Los Angeles coming from Baja. So if that shit changes courses a little bit, we can affect a lot of bad weather. Hey, homie, I'm going to say this. I ain't scared of no motherfucking rain. He nigga, hard, still he hard me, core, nigga. you know what I'm saying? For real, nigga. Before we get out of here, I'm going to press y'all niggas and tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram. I am Brandon Black. Nigga, follow. Follow Britt on Instagram. Miss Britt Love. It's Brandon Britney Black. Love. Two B. You know what I'm saying? Check myself on that shit. M S B R I T T A N Y L O V. I don't do the love shit, but that's part of her name and shit. Brandon Black said he voted for Barack. He had a B in his name. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Barack, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Shit, nigga. 
Follow my nigga Honey P. You know what I'm saying? Give me your social media, my nigga, before we get up out of here, though. Y'all can follow me on Twitter. H-U-N-E-D underscore P. Yeah. You know, y'all can follow us both Instagram at Hood Humor 3. Hood Humor 3, nigga. Y'all can follow the station, you know, at the After Party Gotta Radio. The station. That's T H A A After yeah. Party. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Y'all follow us up, man. We, we, Hell yeah. We getting into the end of the year, man. Fall is here. Halloween coming around. Thanksgiving, Christmas. A lot of stuff in there going on. My birthday be here in a couple weeks. Hey, you know nigga, what I'm saying? So happy if, birthday. If nigga, you don't get it, if you don't get an invite to the club, don't feel bad. It's that. You're not invited. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't want you there. Nigga, you can follow me on Twitter, too, at Mr. Brandon Black. You know what I'm saying? I don't really tweet that much, though. I don't like expressing myself like that, nigga. Yeah. Keep, keep my feelings and my thoughts to myself. You understand what I'm saying? Unless I'm on a mic. Nigga, rock the mic all, all day, all night. You feel me? You, you know what I'm saying? Well, if I say you wake up at 1 in the morning, C and B walking like nigga, it ain't nothing. <laughs> nigga, I sleep with a frown on my face, nigga. And we out this motherfucker, man. Tune hey, in yeah. next week, man. Yo, yo, yo. This is DJ Brit Love, the engineer for the After Party West, and you are listening.